the 2K Sports pregame show. Playoff game one now, history. Time for game two of this series uh, here on 2K Sports. We're in the first round. Shaquille O'Neal is here, so is Kenny the Jet Smith. I'm Ernie Johnson. Tonight we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers as they play against the Rockets in Houston. Looking at Houston, game one went right down to the wire, but they were able to eke out the win. Now looking to press their advantage here in game two. They won the series opener. Chance here to hold serve, go up two zip. Shaq, what's the key for them to take care of business? Well, you can't get complacent, and the effort has to be even greater this time around. Stop messing around and get to the effort. Hmm. Momentum from one game to another is overrated. In a series? Yeah, it's yeah. overrated because guys change up after the game. They kind of let it go. The best players in the world, I know, they're not elephants. They have short memories. They are not elephants. They forget. Both teams ready to tip off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan and the crew. The Western Conference NBA Playoffs Round 1 continues. The Rockets come in off a critical Game 1 win and are now poised and prepared as they attempt to take a 2-0 lead against the Lakers. Round one of the NBA playoffs continues. We are just about ready to get underway here in game two of the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. 2K Sports brings it to you live once again. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Chris Webber and Greg Anthony with us. And from the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers facing the Houston Rockets. Take a look at the Rockets. A successful outing in game one has them right where they want to be with a chance here, guys, to take game two on their home court. And this is the game that gives them a chance to put the hammer down. I mean, if they can build on their game one win with another one tonight, they'll have a stranglehold on this series. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Sanders is out there with Evans. Then it's Tatum. Then it's Anthony Davis. And it's Hart in at the two. And I like the fact that Tatum has not abandoned the inside game. Solid at finding space around the rim to score. Here's Harden. That shot missing. Great D that time from Davis. So it's the Lakers now. They come off the loss on Friday. You know, they're the visiting team. It's a loud arena, very distracting at times, but simply no excuse for missing a ton of free throws. And did you notice how each miss fired up the crowd even more? It became a vicious cycle. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Harden draws the double. Randall with a screen for Grant. Six on the shot clock. And Davis sends it back. He's got that huge wingspan, and boy, does he use it well on the defensive end. If Davis is within shouting distance of the shooter, there's a good chance he'll get a hand on it. Harden. And it's off the back rim. No good. The D a little slow to get in his face. They're fortunate it didn't cost him. Evans passes to Hart. Tatum with it. Working on Grant. Tatum's shot is off. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. The Rockets again can't hit. Oh, man, you can't get much better look from three-point range than that one. That just wasn't in rhythm. Davis down low. Capella's there. And it's Evans in the corner. This one for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Evans has got himself on the board with three there. And watching Evans there knock down the triple has the ability to be a dangerous outside score when he's in rhythm. Here's Harden. Softly drops in the floater. Oh, they finally got the lid off the basket there with that shot. Now one for five to begin this game. Passes to Hart. Out to the wing. 
Tatum with it. Grant on him. Tatum passes to Hart. Evans kicks to Davis. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Rockets trail by five. And here's Harden. Picked by Randall. It's Harden with the drive. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Harden's got his second bucket. The D has to find a way to block that shot. A hand in the face of Harden simply is not good enough from that range. Here's Sanders. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Grant kicks to Harden. The Lakers with the rebound. Look, it hasn't happened yet, but he's got time to find his rhythm. And if he does, they can turn this thing around quick. Davis kicks to Tatum. Three. Marked down low that time, and he got the three-second call. Rockets have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Ingles dishes to Randall. Now Grant. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. It's stolen by Davis. It's stolen by Capella. Now here's Randall. He's guarded close. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his first foul. Here is Harden. From deep three-point range, sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Harden's got seven points. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I was able to talk with Mike D'Antoni for just a minute, and Coach did not mince words. He told his team that even though they took game one, they have to come out and play with even more intensity to keep their home court advantage. He said, so far we've just held serve. It's only going to get tougher from here on out. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And as great of a free throw shooter as he is, it's still a part of his game. He works very hard at it. Grant kicks to Ingles. And Tyreek Evans is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul. Out to the right wing. Grant, right side. He dishes it to Randall. Over Sanders. Randall, no good. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, he did a great job of staying patient, letting the man make his move, and getting right up on the jump shot. On deep, Evans. And again, no good by the Lakers. Rockets trail by four. Harden outside. Pass to Randall. Six to shoot. Picked by Randall. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Oh, just a solid screen to free him up. Makes the layup possible. Tatum passes to Davis. They set the pick. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one Shot's more good. at the free throw line. If there's Shot's a good. list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Sam Decker's checked in for the Rockets. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. Houston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Grant kicks to Harden. It's good for his fourth bucket of the night. He's shooting four of eight. Oh, man, I really enjoy seeing Harden connect from the interior, showing he's more than just a perimeter scorer. From deep, Evans. That shot, no good. The Rockets go the other way with it. Harden outside. Screen by Capella. That one misses. It's his fifth miss. He's made four baskets. 
Miles Sanders dishes to Tatum. A jump hook, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Harden has a wide open look, and another three for Houston. And hard shot selection, mostly three pointers are attacking him, and that's how he achieves his incredible efficiency. And here's Evans outside. Evans can't get that one to fall. No doubt, it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. You can see that he definitely takes rebounding seriously, and his size really helps him come down with plenty of those tough boys. Tatum with it, working on Grant, and slam dunk by Tatum. And you know Tatum wants to make a statement anytime he can get all the way to the rim that he's got to have to do a better job of keeping a body on it. Grant kicks to Ingles. Screened by Grant. Capella against Davis. Back to Harden. Tipped away. And it's out of bounds to the Rockets as Houston retains possession for the Rockets. Spates checked in for Capella. Gordon comes in for Joe Ingles. And Spencer Dinwiddie subbed in for Jaron Grant. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation. so they'll turn it over. Kent Bazemore is checked in for James Harden. The Lakers in the lead. Tatum with it. He's got six. Can't throw it down with one hand. Here's Dinwiddie. He feeds it to Bazemore. To the left wing. Gordon kicks it to Bazemore. Just five to shoot. Back to Gordon. Three-pointer. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And Gordon has always been a lethal perimeter shooter. When he gets a clean look, he doesn't hesitate pulling the trick. Evans kicks to Davis. Nine feet out. The shot comes out, so Houston will take it the other way. Here's Dinwiddie. And a miss there on the triple. The Lakers have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. There's the dish to Tatum. Let's it go with a three. Here's Sanders. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Sanders has got six points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Here's Dinwiddie. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Spates sets a screen. Jumper off the screen. Here's Decker. Another shot. A shot missing. Good D by Sanders. Here's Evans. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. And now it's a three-point Los Angeles lead. And how about the efficiency Evans has shown in the paint? Once he's got his position, he's looking to score. Dinwiddie outside Gordon. There's the pick. From 13 and too long on the shot. Lakers leading by three. Hart the pass to Davis. He kicks it to Sanders. Lakers passing it around. Pass to Hart. Now here's Evans. Not a lot of room. Now the feed to Sanders. And it's slammed in by Davis. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Dinwiddie with the bucket. Dinwiddie's got his first basket. Oh, just a brick wall of a screen. Knocks the defender out of the play. Hurt. Here's Sanders. Makes it off the glass. And the Lakers lead by five. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. Dinwiddie dishes to Gordon. 
Here's Dinwiddie. There's the pass to Baseman. Outside Gordon. Spade sets a screen for Gordon. Again, the miss by Gordon. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Evans, good. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Spates. Second chance shot, and Davis sends it back. And it's Evans missing. That was as easy as it gets. He needs to complete those looks. Right wing. Gordon kicks it to Bazemore. Here's Dinwiddie. Spades with a screen on Evans. Here's Decker. The Rockets with another miss. And here's the Lakers. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Hart the pass to Davis. Here's Hart. Three-pointer. And it's Spates with the rebound. Here's Dinwiddie. Shoots from 14. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Los Angeles on top, up seven. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. It's the NBA playoffs. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action here in this game two. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? Rockets trail by seven. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter. Evans out there with Davis. Then there's Andre Drummond. Then there's Iguodala. And it's Tatum in at the point guard position. Spates dishes to Decker. Spates sets a screen for Decker. Four on the shot clock. Fires for three. It's Drummond with the rebound. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Wow. Wasted possession. Thanks to what should have been a simple pass. And the Rockets making a change here. Randall's checked in. The Rockets shooting just 31% in the game. Randall a screen on Evans. Here's Bazemore. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. So it's the Rockets now. They trail by seven. Picked by Randall. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. He just recorded his third foul at half. Coach has to consider resting him until the third quarter. The Lakers shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Baseline jumper. Not enough on that one as it misses. Tatum's gotten only two of his eight attempts to fall from the floor. And it's Gordon missing. Lakers leading by seven. It's Davis on the wing. He's defended by Randall. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Davis sets a screen. Tatum kicks to Davis. He got right to the cup using that screen. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. He 
throw good. Davis. Rockets trail by 10. Spates sets a screen. Dinwiddie passes to Spates. Kicks it to Gordon. Back to Spates. Six to shoot. Houston needs to get a shot off. A shot off that time. And it's the Lakers the other way. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. And Bazemore kicks to Dinwiddie. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Spates, the Lakers with the rebound. And now here's Davis, the fast break opportunity. Goes back up, and the layup is good. Davis has got 10 points in the game. He's been in control here tonight, helping them get in front with his work from the field. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Dinwiddie dishes to Spates. Iguodala against Gordon. It's stolen by Davis. Pass break, the Lakers. Here's Tatum. Dinwiddie with the rebound. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. For the Rockets, Clint Capella, he's checked in for Spates. James Harden comes in for Kent Bazemore. And it's Grant in for Dinwiddie. Timeout, timeout. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Yeah, the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they got to talk about. Oh, this is ugly. No question about it. And you wonder if these matchups aren't favoring them right now. Now, here's Grant. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Picked by Randall. Here's Harden. And he connects on the jumper. The screen did the trick. Now, what I do love about Randall as a screen is he's always a threat to roll off, even if ultimately he doesn't. Davis inside. He's defended by Randall. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. He misses the free throw. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Houston. And the second free throw, good. Rockets trail by 11. Harden up top. He's covered by Iguodala. Houston moving the ball around. Capella with a screen on Davis. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Just three to shoot, and he trims the lead to single digits. Gordon's got his second basket of the night. Fearlessness. Gordon using his strength to get off a good quality look inside. Feeds to Davis. And Capella sends it back. And here is Tatum. He has six. And slam dunk by Tatum. Beautiful Woo. reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Rockets have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Harden kicks to Gordon. Dishes it to Capella. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. I mean, and Capella really using his massive shoulders to draw contact, not afraid to go right up into the grill of the defender. And he's got his first free throw of the game. That one is no good, but they'll get another chance. Ingles can't get it to go. Los Angeles leading by 10. Iguodala, the pass to Evans. Here's... Oh! oh! Come on, did you see that? Did you see that? Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Grant, that's good. 
And Harden is more than just a score. He's also got some sensational handles and passing instincts. Loves connecting with his teammates. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Outside, Gordon. Back to Ingles. Harden outside. Capella sends a screen for Harden. Ingles in the corner. They get it back. Here's Capella, and good that time. Oh, man, Capella absolutely destroys the opposition on the offensive glass, using that gigantic body of his to snag down second-chance opportunity. Iguodala dishes to Davis. Over Ingles. Rockets with the rebound. Capella's got his third rebound on the night. From 13, that one's good. The Laker lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Grant. Just good, aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Offensive rebound. And Drummond kicks to Davis. That doesn't go either for Davis. Houston's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. The drive by Gordon. It's blocked. Outside, Davis. Drummond in the post. Capella's there. And it's Drummond with the jam. Exactly. That's what Drummond will always give you. Tenacity on the offensive glass. Now a timeout called by Houston. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection. Some just bad luck. And they just can't get anything going. Well, this is the dilemma as a coach. You wonder, do I need to call a timeout here? Do I need to settle these guys down? Should I let them play through it? Sam Decker's checked in for Gordon. And then for Los Angeles. Larry Sanders is checked in for Anthony Davis. Green comes in for Tyreek Evans. And it's Austin Rivers in for Tatum. On the wing, Harden. For three, trains the three-pointer. Harden's got 17 now. Oh, and, and that's his first three of the second quarter. Third overall this game. Here's Rivers. That shot, no good. The Rockets go the other way with it. And it's sent back by Drummond. All right, shooters have to be careful when Drummond is roaming nearby. He is a defensive menace who takes his shot blocking very seriously. Nice. He showed his QB arm off right there, but he's really fortunate that long pass wasn't picked off. And out of, out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Rockets trail by seven. Now Grant. Good D by Drummond. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Yeah, he has that capacity. He knows exactly where to position himself to protect the rim. Iguodala outside. Poke loose. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Capella. Here's Green. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And now running up the court. Ingles pushing it up. Here's Capella, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And the foul called on Los Angeles. Wow, and the big man Capella has proven to be a reliable role player. A strong, physical presence who takes smart shots and contributes well on D. He hits the second from the line. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Rivers passes to Iguodala. He dishes it to Drummond. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. That's on Clint Capella. 
Yeah, one of the most physical players in the league doing his job. Doesn't bother Drummond. If he's got three guys on his back, four guys on his back, he's still going to score. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And that one misses. And in a short period of time, the former UConn Husky Drummond has blossomed into an elite center, just taking the league by storm. Harden, no good. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. Here's Sanders. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Look, high percentage looking tight. It's hard to miss that one. Grant outside. Here's Ingles. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from Green. A frustrating start to this quarter. They get it again. Kicks it out to Iguodala. Drummond the screen. Out to the right wing. And it's Drummond with the jam. Kevin at six foot eleven. Drummond is a legitimate dunker inside. Getting the little room and taking off towards the rim. That's tipped. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Green leading the charge. And Drummond throws it down. And great effort on the boards. And what a Are, mean yeah. talk <laughs> that was, Kevin. I mean, you just will not see him ever quit on a play. That guy is a handful. You've got to have a body on him, Clark, at all times. And how relentless is this guy if you're the defense? He's the first one you're looking to block out there. For the Rockets, Spates checked in for Capella. Ken Bazemore comes in for Joe Ingles. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Grant. Harden dishes to Dinwiddie. Passes to Decker. Houston moving it around. Harden kicks to Spates. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one more at the free throw line. Oh, Harden is so good at finding the open man, an unselfish superstar who really whips the ball over quickly. Houston shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And that one falls for Spates. Lakers leading by 11. Outside, Green. Pass to Drummond. And it's Spates with the rebound. Spates has got four rebounds now tonight. And Bazemore kicks to Harden. No good from outside. Los Angeles has got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Houston's gone one of six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let him fly. Spades with a screen on Iguodala. Harden the pass to Spades. Good, it's Harden with the assist that time. Spades has got it back down to within single digits for the Rockets. Out of bounds, Houston takes possession. Some changes for the Lakers. Davis has checked in for Drummond. Evans comes in for Jeff Green. And it's Tatum in for Rivers. And for Houston, they're shooting 36% in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively here. And Davis sends it back. And here we go, fast break. Evans has got it. It's good. 
And that's 12 points for Jason Tatum. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. 129 left now here in the second. Harden kicks to Dinwiddie. Back to Harden. He feeds it to Spates. Unable to get that one. Davis with some nice D. And slam dunk by Tatum. Oh, and with the fast eyes, Iguodala finding the open man. Here is Harden. 17 points in the game. There's a minute left in the first half. And I bet you'll never see too many guys who can put forth an effort on the boards like this one. Uh, it's effort, it's ability. He also has incredible instincts. And Davis can't get it to go. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. And Bazemore kicks to Harden. Spade sets a screen for Harden. The dish now to Spates. That one's good. Just his third make brings him to three for eight in this game. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Tatum. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And this is going to be an asset for Tatum. His ability to get to the line. Very good at using his body to draw contact. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And it's about the versatility that Tatum offers, particularly offensively. He can guard and play multiple positions on the floor. Here's Dinwiddie. He kicks it to Bazemore. Harden right side. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. That'll do it for the first half. Lakers lead by 13. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. Andre, how have you guys established things in the first half? Communication. Communication doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but uh, in order for us to be a good team, everyone has to be on the same page, and we're doing it tonight. We'll see if you keep talking in the second half. Thanks, Andre. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David, and we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Thank you for joining us live inside this sold-out arena. We are rocking and rolling. Looking at the Lakers, they have rebounded very well from their loss in Game 1 and have their eyes set squarely on evening this series up. What a response to a difficult opening game of the series for them. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what'd you think? I like their commitment to that inside game, boy. Get it inside to the post. Gotta be scoring in the post, flashing to the basket, just shoot the high percentage shot. No jumpers, no threes. They're being a more aggressive team, the more physical team. They're definitely gonna win this game, Ernie. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about Houston? Poor efficiency on offense. That's what jumps out at me. You aren't going to win many games shooting under 35%. Bad shot selection, too much one-on-one -on -one play, not finishing with authority. Now, these are correctable errors. They could choose to come out in the second half and completely flip that script. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Welcome back to the NBA playoffs as we get ready to continue with this round. Here's Grant. Maurice Spates out there with Clint Capella. Then it's Harden. Then there's Grant. And it's Ingles in at the three side. They're the group for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. Ingles with a screen on Sanders. A second chance effort. Pass to Ingles. Clock at two. Goes up again. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Third straight miss to start the half. But it's still early. No need to panic. 
Davis against Capella. From the left block, in deep, Davis drops it in. Davis has got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Lakers. Grant with the ball. Spates sets a screen. Grant kicks to Harden. The feed to Ingles. Grant outside. And Spades has it in the corner. The Rockets again can't hit. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Here's Davis. And Capella sends it back. And stolen by Tatum. And here we go. Fast break. Evans has got it. It's stolen by Capella. Ingles with the ball. Evans picks him up. He gets it in there. 19 points for James Harden. Oh, that's a big basket right there after misfiring on their first four attempts in the game. Here's Tatum. The pass to Evans. Jacks up a three. And the Lakers with another miss. We see him make shots from the perimeter all the time. Unfortunately, he's just off with his rhythm in this one. Now, here's Ingles. And Tyreek Evans is going to pick up a foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Rockets making a change here. Randall's checked in. Harden dishes to Capella. Back to Harden. Takes the three. Trains the three-pointer. Harden's got five points now in the quarter. I mean, you gotta love, I mean, I love the aggressiveness of Harden on offense, just relentless in how he constantly looks for a shot. Yeah, a nice, strong finish on the inside. But Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. Rockets trail by 12. Now a timeout, timeout. called by Houston. Yeah, he needs to tell his guys to Harden. just box out with some energy. Uh, that, that's basic basketball. They've been lazy on the backboard and have allowed way too many second chance points. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Grant outside. And here's Harden. He's got 22. Shot clock at five. And here's Ingles outside. Up again, and it's put back up and in by Capella. Capella's got six. Exceptional instincts on the offensive boards. He didn't try to slam it home. Tipping it in was all he needed. Here's Davis, banked in off the glass. And the Lakers lead by 12. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. Oh, yeah, up by double digits. They're trying to keep the momentum, keep the foot on the neck. That's his focus right now. Ingles kicks to Grant. Harden outside. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Lakers leading by 12. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Here's Tatum. Kicks it to Davis. No good. Good work defensively by Capella. Now here's Randall. Not a lot of room. Feeds to Capella. And some nice passing there by Houston. Sanders with the steal. And now it's Evans running. He can go all the way. And Evans throws it down. And Evans there showing the ability to elevate. When you let him get near the bucket, he has the ability to hurt your feelings. Evans against Ingles. Back to Harden. With the teardrop. And Davis sends it back. And now here's Davis, the fast break opportunity. And they pick up two. Davis has got 19 points. And a good example there of why it's important to change ends quickly. Yeah, talent in this league has it so that now pretty much every team can push the pace. You have to get back on defense. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Sanders' shot is off. 
And you can see at this stage of his career, just still not comfortable as a finisher at the basket. Grant the pass to Ingles. Harden against Iguodala. Harden kicks to Capella. And Davis sends it back. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Tatum, and he lays that one in. He's got 20. Can't say enough about Tatum. A terrific confidence, always looking to put the ball in the basket. Grant kicks to Randall. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Lakers leading by 14. Now Tatum, he's got 20. It's Evans on the wing. They grab their own miss. Davis, no stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. A chance now for a three-point play. That's on Clint Capella. The Lakers have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. So for the Rockets, Gordon comes in for Joe Ingles, and Dinwiddie subbed in for Jaron Grant. Here's Dinwiddie. At the elbow, it's Gordon. They set the pick. On the wing, Harden. Puts up a three. It's good from long range. Harden's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Rockets. Tatum dishes to Sanders. Iguodala outside. Here's Davis. And he banks in the layup. Davis has got 11 points here in just the second half. He's taking over the game. Their lead's going to get even bigger if he keeps this up. Iguodala with the steal. Now the fast break. Tatum with the ball. Here's Davis. That shot off the mark. Good work defensively by Capella. Gordon against Evans. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. And that's a couple of very shaky possessions in a row. One turnover right after the other. For the Rockets, Deckers checked in for Capella, and it's Kent Bazemore in for James Harden. From deep, Igudawa. But they get it back. They are really crashing the offensive glass, and it's paying off for them. Now, here's Tatum. He's tightly guarded. Evans, good. Look, that matches his three-point total from the first half. He had one in the first, now he's got one in the second. Dinwiddie kicks to Gordon. Bazemore on the wing. Dishes to Dinwiddie. Passes it to Gordon. To the middle. Here's Bazemore. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Bazemore's got his first points in this one. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Evans. Talk. Ugly. I mean, no pressure being put on him, and he sails the pass right out of bounds. Rockets trail by 17. Dinwiddie kicks to Randall. And Davis sends it back. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Evans leading the charge. Iguodala outside for the three. Los Angeles keeping it alive, fresh 24. Sanders sets the screen for Iguodala. Over Decker. Misses off the left iron. 
Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, but at the same time, you know if he can just break through this cold streak, he can give you what you need. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. A big group substitution here for the Lakers. Taj Gibson's checked in for Sanders. Green comes in for Tyreek Evans. Hart, he's checked in for Andre Iguodala. And it's Carter Williams in for Tatum. A shot by Carter Williams, nobody around. Here's Davis, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Davis has got 13 points in just this quarter. Just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways, and that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second chance bucket. Bucket is good. Here's Carter Williams. Stolen by Gordon. He dishes it to Dinwiddie. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. This game is going to get even more out of hand unless they start valuing the basketball. Spates checked in for the Rockets. And here is Los Angeles now. Right side Davis. And stolen by Spates. Here's Decker. Tries again. And it's Randall getting it to go. Randall's got his third bucket of the night. Los Angeles leading by 15. Pass to Carter Williams. On the wing, Green. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Davis against Spates, and it's in there. And the Lakers lead by 17. Something lit a fire under him this quarter. Their lead's safe as long as he's on the floor. To the inside, and Gibson sends it back. And Gibson just out here to play hard defense, showing great awareness coming up there with that block. From seven, and Davis can't get it to go. Hey, look, that's what they want. The ball is in his hands in the post. He just didn't have the touch that time. The Rockets shoot their coming. sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. <laughs> free throw good, Gordon. And when he's healthy, Gordon is extremely effective. An incredible scorer who fills up the stat sheet. Drummond's checked in for Anthony Davis. All three throws good from Eric Gordon. Lakers shooting right around 46% from the floor in the third quarter. Spates against Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. And a long windup and strong follow through on the one hand jam. Yeah, he's not going to mess that one up. Now, here's Decker, guarded by Green. The kick out to Spates. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Spates has got nine. Los Angeles leading by 15. Gibson passes to Drummond. They kick it out to Green. The three ball. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Houston's gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Here's Randall. That shot off. Good D by Drummond. The Lakers shooting well. They're at 45 percent. Outside for Carter Williams from past the arc. Traps in the tray. Hart's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. And when you're open, Carter Williams will find you. He knows his role well. Here's Dinwiddie. Carter Williams covering. Spates sets a screen. It's stolen by Carter Williams. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Carter Williams has got his first two points. 
Look, Carter Williams is a fantastic feel for inside the paint. Defenders have a tough time dealing with the size. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Los Angeles Lakers. He provided some serious rim protection in that quarter. Good luck getting a shot over this guy. Right back after this break. We welcome you back to our coverage of round one in the NBA playoffs. Los Angeles leading by 20. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Andre Drummond is out there with Taj Gibson. Then it's Green. Then it's Carter Williams. And it's Hart in at the two. He feeds it to Drummond. And stolen by Spates. They're doing well overall, but the turnovers have been the exception. And it's out of, out of bounds. bounds. They say it was last touched by Randall. Grant, he's checked in for Spencer Dinwiddie. Carter Williams against Grant. Shot from the wing. Carter Williams can't get it to go. Rockets trail by 20. Right side, Gordon. Grant outside. Now here's Gordon. D right on him. And it's sent back by Drummond. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. And it's sent back by Drummond. Randall with the bucket. Uh, after failing to be aggressive and look for a shot in the first half, uh, you don't have to let him know this time. You don't have to remind him now. He is really taking his game over in the second. That one good for two. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Grant kicks to Spates. Outside Gordon. Five on the clock. That doesn't go either for Gordon. Oh, look, he's got to find better looks or he's never going to pull out that funk he's in tonight. Carter Williams dishes to Drummond. And stolen by Spates. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. The baseline, Jay, off the mark. Lakers leading by 22. Now the dish to Carter Williams. And here's Green outside. And there's the foul. It goes on Taj Gibson. That's his first foul. And Green's become a, a dependable three-point threat. If you don't get a hand in his face, he can certainly knock those down. Houston making some changes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Spates. Joe Ingles comes in for Sam Deck, And it's James Harden in for Gordon. Capella with the bucket. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half. And that's a great way to cut into the lead. There's Green with the three. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And a smooth jump shot from the veteran Green there. These are looks he nails consistently. And Michael Carter-Williams gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And it's the Rockets with the ball. Grant the pass to Benjamin. Lays it up off the glass. You can't pass up a shot from such short range. The Lakers have gone an outstanding 4 of 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. And out of bounds as the Rockets... ...gain possession. Houston making a switch here. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. It's Harden with... Oh! oh! I mean, come on, man. Harden is ridiculously clever, including how he decides to posterize you. A superb athlete. 
And that last replay, courtesy of Under Armour. Another Unleashed Chaos moment. Here's Carter Williams. Misses the three. Well, this has not been his best effort. He's lucky his teammates have been there to bail him out. Second shot opportunity, and Gibson sends it back. Carter Williams against Grant. It's stolen by Randall. It's two on one. Pull up jumper. Basket good. And it's six points for Jaron Grant. Lakers leading by 20. Drummond passes to Hart. Capella against Drummond. Shoots over Capella. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Now with his free throw shooting, the defense is always better off fouling Drummond when he gets inside. The first one falls. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Rockets have gone five of 12 from the field, entering the fourth quarter. And it's going to be two free throws. True contact on the shot. Well, and for a guard, Harden does a ton of damage inside, especially how he gets these foul calls close to the basket. That free throw good from Harden. Harden hits them both. And Harden was the runner-up for the MVP award in 2015, a dynamite player, and continues to excel in all aspects of the game. Drummond in the post. Capella covering. And it's Drummond missing. Rockets trailed by 19. Grant gets a wide open look. Good on the triple. I don't know if that was by design or by accident, but the D not paying any attention to him. Carter Williams, the pass to Hart. He kicks to Drummond. Lakers passing it around. Gibson with the screen on Capella. Drummond in the post. Capella's there. They grab their own miss. That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. And the play is all about drumming in his solid fundamentals, just taking his time and getting a high-quality chance as a result. Grant kicks to Ingles. Pass to Harden. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Harden's got six in the quarter. Well, if it ain't broke, <laughs> don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Hart the pass to Drummond. Drummond throws it down. Oh. oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a Manny, but a facial. Oh, a bounce to the ounce, Greg? Yeah, showing off the bunnies. Capella with a screen on Gibson. Capella kicks to Harden. They set the screen. Screen by Capella. Capella with a screen on green. Lock at six. Ingles dishes to Capella. Grant outside. A second chance effort. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. Clearly a foul. And he can't get the first one. And Los Angeles with some changes. Allen comes in for Drummond. And it's Tatum in for Carter Williams. And the second free throw, good. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Tatum's shot is off. Uh, defensively, they could have done better. That's an open look he'd like to have back. Harden the pass to Grant. With the teardrop. And Allen with the block. 
Here's Hart. And the three off target. Rockets trail by 17. Inside. Here's Capella. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Oh, man, and the six foot ten frame of Capella. I mean, when it's close inside, he's a huge threat to put the ball in the bucket. And he ends up missing both free throws. Lakers leading by 17. And he makes that one. Well executed. And then you love the strong finish. So many fast breaks now ending the three-point shot. Good to see them taking it to the rack. And Gibson over to help. Kicks it out to Harden. It's deflected. To the middle. Here's Tatum. And Gibson kicks to Tatum. That one doesn't go. Houston's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Harden. The 19-footer is on the money. Harden's got 16 points here in the second half. Oh, what hustle from Harden. Just sprinting down the floor in transition, finding a great shot as a result. Tatum with it. Now defended by Randall. Tatum kicks to Allen. Here's Hart. Offensive rebound. Gibson dishes to Tatum. Shoots over Grant. And that one comes up a bit short. Uh, off target with what's what? Pretty good look from mid-range. Ingles passes to Grant. Harden outside. Now the feed to Randall. Capella with a screen on green. Here's Ingles. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Oh, just a solid screen to free him up. Makes the layup possible. Here's Tatum. The pass to Hart from downtown. They kick it out to Green. Launches it. Drains it from beyond the arc. Green's got nine points now in the quarter. And, and piling on to that big lead. We, we know he has the range late on the defensive reaction. I mean, yeah, you can't break down. Not now. Defensively. At this point, I mean, you're already too far in the hole. Well, he has put forth an outstanding effort on offense this quarter. He will need to keep it up if they really want to cut into this lead. Here's Tatum. It's rebounded by Houston. The defense recognizing the situation and getting right in his face once he got close to the buck. Goes back up, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that shot, one to shot. go with all the contact. Taj Gibson picks one up. Well, he was drafted seventh in 2014. Randall actually dropped because of injury concerns, but you see, he has all the talent in the world. All free throws, good from Randall. Lakers leading by 14. Outside, Green passes it to Hart. Back to Green. He had stolen by Randall. Here's Harden. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And as soon as Harden puts the ball down on the floor, you know he's trying to take it all the way, and he's not afraid to get hit either. And both free throws good for James Harden. After being a little hesitant in the first, he looked much more intent on getting himself to the strike. Here's Tatum, and slam dunk by Tatum. You got to close off the lane to the basket. Tatum is just so good at creating angles to attack. Timeout called the Rockets. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Man, this is a joke. Right? I mean, there have been some glimpses of hope, but they've been few and far between. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Anthony Davis. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Falling into a two-game hole would have been a disaster, and he knew it. He's done everything in his power to get momentum back on their side in this series. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Mike D'Antoni was talking about with his team. He is not pleased, and he told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move, or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. All right, David, thanks. 
And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. Yeah, GA such a good, aggressive play in the paint. With some arc. Allen with the rebound. Lakers leading by 16. Down low, here's Rivers, and he makes the bucket through contact and gets the whistle too. And now they are probably too far ahead. It's going to be nearly impossible to get back in this one. That's why you can't let yourself get in this deep a hole. Very little time now to climb out. The free throw drops for Rivers. Houston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. There's the screen. The three from Harden. They get the rebound. Randall. The putback. And it's put back up and in by Capella. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and 16 rebounds. I mean, and really, major props to Capella for reading shot angles so well. His timing on these putback slams couldn't be any better. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for the Lakers. You know, their big advantage was points in the paint. And they found a way to pound the ball inside. And that was working all game long. And we watched them all night long. No one could really stop them. Just another excellent game it was for Davis. But his defense gave them the spark they needed. Protecting the rim with purpose. They were afraid to bring the ball inside against the big fella. So the wing on the left. It's stolen by Capella. And here comes Harden. Leading the fast break. That one goes. Count it. Harden's got 41. And guys, you got to ask, where was this effort when it mattered? The game's over now. Oh, yeah. This is a nice run here, but too little too late. And deep down, I think they know it. Tremendous effort here on the road. That plane ride home is going to be sweet. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't care how good you are. It's tough to succeed in a hostile environment. They're doing it in style. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Harden's got 43 points. Hey, look, he's not an easy man to defend. He'll get his points one way or another. Rivers against Grant. Kicks it out to Allen. And slam dunk by Allen. And how much longer are they going to keep that foot on the accelerator? At this point, it's just icing on the cake. Terrific run, closes it out. Harden outside. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Anthony, tell us the focus for the team coming into the game tonight. Well, you know, before we started the game, you know, Coach came in and told us that we knew what we had to do. You know, we were trying to stop a lot of their actions, and, you know, our biggest focus for the game was guard the ball. Um, that's what we did, coming out of that timeout and never look back. And it led to a win. Thank you for your time, Anthony. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.